We're at the Eric Sands Yard to chat about his runners for Hollywood Bets Kenilworth on Sunday, the 5th of May. Um, Eric, five runners on the day for you, starting in race one, the 1,000 meter juvenile plate for Phillies. You're settling kind of wonderful. She's jumping from the 11 draw, Sean Veal on board. Won really impressively last time out. How's she doing at the moment? She's a nice filly. Um, I think she'll go a little bit further, but um, I've got two juvenile fillies that are both one and I don't want to race them against each other. So one's going in the feature. Just thought she'd be better suited to a little bit further. Kind of wonderful. Uh, she's a nice filly. Uh, they gave her 96 as a two-year-old for winning a maiden plate last time. No, it's, uh, it's wrong. I don't mind them getting it. But they slaughter them before they get there. Let her earn a place in a feature, let her win a feature, then give her a 96 or 100, not to, not to beat a maiden juvenile plant. Um, race two is an 1100 meter group three winter nursery. You're sending out Furious Queen. Um, she's got the five draw, Sean Veal on board, um, carrying 57 and a half. So she's got two and a half on the field. Really nice debut win over a thousand. Um, what are you looking for from her on Sunday? She's working well at home, and to tell you the honest truth, I'm hoping. Uh, I don't know how good she is, but we've got to step out on this. Unfortunately, they haven't got a, a nursery or a, anything up the straight for the fillies. And in the winter, the, everything's against the Colts. It so happens that this year there's four races for the juveniles, and there isn't a winter nursery, there isn't a fillies nursery, there isn't the perfect bombers anymore, those races that they used to be able to. So she has to take on the Colts. She's taken on a very strong group of Colts. Uh, Vaughan's to look special, um, but let's see how good she is. We're not going to give her a hiding if she can't win it or anything like that. We're not going to give her a hiding in any case. We don't want to score her, but I think she's above average and uh, we'll see. It will give me a good line for Saturday. If she gets there, it's blacked up for her, so that's the main aim of her, her going in. She belongs to a breeder and they need the blacked up. Race four, the thousand meter maiden plate. You're sending out Bagatelle Flash, um, drawn six, Craig Zaki on board. Um, he's got 57 to shoulder and the tongue tie. Two places already. Um, he, he looks like he, he likes the five furlongs. Uh, he's bred for further and he should go further. He just travels a little bit hard at this stage. He's uh, aggressively positive, so he'll come back and he'll learn to race properly and then he'll go over further. Far Fulham's not his game, but the, he showed enough pace the other day and uh, he actually had to be restrained. He ran a good second. It's quite close to his last run, but um, when you've got these offers from the sales companies coming through, if you take an opportunity, it's not a hundred, another hundred grand you can't uh, laugh at. So we're taking our chances against the old horses. He's done well at home. Uh, I expect another good run. Then race eight, the 1800 meter Cape B stakes. You're sending out Fuhr Um He has the three draw, Craig Zaki on board and the blinkers. You have been gradually stepping him up in trip and he looked like he enjoyed the 1800 last time out. Um, he's just got 55 and a half to shoulder here, so he should be in with a shout. Yeah, yeah, the 55 is uh, what he earns against the field. So it's not just, just 55. It's a competitive field. He's well in himself. I think he's as well as he was last time. He just got one uh, to catch him on the line last time. Uh, let's hope he goes one better this time. And then finally, race nine, the 1200 meter class three. You're sending out Broadway Girl. She's got the 11 draw, Sean Veal on board and 58. Um, coming off a little bit of a break. Not a, not a break uh, through her fault. She had an abscess a, a, about two months ago, but uh, she's been in two other races and they've both been scrapped. I could have run her in the ladies' mile, um, but being out of the weights there and mile, not really her trip. There's uh, the 1800 feature coming up in four weeks' time, the end of uh, May, 26th of May. So I'm using the 1200 to bring her to her top. I'd rather let's uh, bring her on. The, I would prefer to the race 1200 bring her on than the 1600 to set in her back. And my aim is the 26, so that's the reason she's in the 1200 for no other reason. She's not an unsound filly or anything like that. But as I say, she's been in two races before and there haven't been enough acceptances. So both those races fell away and it's unfortunate. You just can't keep them at their top all the time.